What's up guys, we're all here for Yuga Tech. So last week, Xiaomi officially announced their new series of Redmi Note 11. And one of them is this, the base model Redmi Note 11. It comes in two variants, but the unit we have now is the 4 gigs of RAM with 64 gigs of internal storage, coated in this nice clean graphite gray color. The device is made out of this durable solid polycarbonate frame with a relatively light body. The back is flat with a slight taper but still comfortable to hold. This finish isn't much of a fingerprint magnet so it will look fine even if you don't use a case. On the side, we have a single type button volume rocker with a flat button which doubles as a fingerprint scanner. While at the top part, we have a secondary noise cancelling microphone with a set of speaker frills plus the 3.5mm audio port and the good old IR blaster for your universal remote functionality. The SIM card slot can accommodate 2 nano size SIM cards with 4G connectivity. For the micro SD, there's a separate tray for that. Many smartphones nowadays don't have a micro SD card slot so props for Xiaomi for keeping that there. At the bottom, we got the primary microphone, primary speaker, and the USB Type-C port. The 6.43 inch screen is huge enough to enjoy watching movies on Netflix or YouTube and when playing your favorite games. It is very bright and has deep blacks and punchy colors thanks to the use of AMOLED panel. The Full HD Plus resolution is good enough for a screen of this size and equates to 409 pixels per inch so images and videos look crisp. Xiaomi top it off with a 90Hz refresh refresh rate so you'll get a fluid viewing experience even when you're still scrolling or navigating the UI. Now we move to the juicy part. At the back is a large module for a quad camera setup. The primary lens is a 50 megapixel shooter with face detection autofocus, an 8 megapixel ultra wide lens, and another 2 megapixel lens as depth sensor for portrait effects. We took some early sample shots from the camera and here's what we got. Now powering this device is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 680 chipset. It's an 8-core processor that was announced in late October last year and is manufactured using a 6 nanometer process technology. This is paired with an Adreno 610 GPU which should be good enough for light to moderate gaming. Don't worry, we'll talk more about its gaming performance in our full review so stay tuned for that. Now based on our initial benchmark, the chipset scored an average of 250,000 in Antutu version 9. The 6 nanometer process technology means that it is more battery efficient than its contemporary chipsets. While in terms of the battery capacity, the Redmi Note 11 has a good starting point at 5,000 mAh which is again a big plus. And if you need to replenish the battery, you can do so quickly with its support for 33 watt fast charging. We'll know more about its battery life in our full review so watch out for that. Okay, overall this device is a good starting point for this series. It comes with a mid-range hardware, great display, big battery, a full range of camera lenses, and the basic connectivity needs from Wi-Fi, NFC, Bluetooth, IR, and 4G. In our opinion, if Xiaomi packed a 5G modem in here, it would have been an easy recommendation. As of the publishing of this video, there's no word from Xiaomi Philippines when the Redmi Note 11 will be released in the Philippines and for how much. But we reckon if the global MSRP is around 160 euros, the Redmi Note 11 base model might go for like 8,000 to 8,500 pesos when it arrives in the Philippines which is already decent for its price. We'll post more about it once we get an official word and also watch out for our full review of this device soon. So what do you guys think about the Redmi Note 11? Let us know in the comment section down below and make sure to hit the like button so you won't miss our full review soon. Once again, this is Aurel of Yugitech and see you in our next video.